Okay, so this is a <clears throat> quick demo video of the um, Pi Netbooter card emulator solution. Um, so here we have a USB plugged into my Raspberry Pi Netbooter. Standard Naomi 2 with a net with a net dim on top. Uh, this cable connects into a standard straight through female serial link and on the other end of that so that goes into CN8 on the uh, on the Naomi which is normally where the card reader would go so the actual card reader cable is in here somewhere yeah it's in, a, it's in around somewhere there it is okay so that's that's the the card reader cable it would normally go in there so all I've done is I've created um, used the same kind of connector JST uh, NH I think it is connector um, and that's just wired up with the with the correct pinouts that you found on, on the um, the Arcade Projects website. So, with this all in place, obviously the uh, Pi is in Netbooter mode. Uh, there it's coming up. Oh, it's just uh, it's just timed out there. Let's give it a quick reboot. Also, as you can see, obviously there is no no card reader attached to the machine. Just got the uh, coin tower in place. Um, right, this is the web interface. There we go. Just about to see that. So this is based on uh, Dev TTY zero's code, um, which just runs runs one of the PyForce tools through a web front end. Um, I made a couple of modifications to it. Nothing drastic. Uh, just reorganize things a little bit and also see at the bottom there um, set up this initial D card emulator which is basically just um, it's a Python script basically um, and the way that dev TTY built the web interface using Python scripts and PHP so you can run the Python scripts just by executing a PHP web page which is great really simple and straightforward um, so there we go the uh, name is now coming into Network mode to make sure I'm connected back onto the correct network. Just wait for the Naomi hot, the uh, Naomi Wi Fi. That's what to come up. Come on. There we go. So connected to the Naomi. Machine. Okay, so let me get it right. So let's just refresh that, make sure we're in the right place. Yep, we're okay. So, so we're now checking network mode. So I want to go to my game list. Uh, I'm gonna. Go to one to the bottom. We go and I'm going to load up initial D3. You can see, the screen goes black, and then that booting starts. There we go, just wait for that game to load. Shouldn't take too long to go. Let's see, that's it's now loaded into memory. Reboot. Does the checking memory routine and then I'll go into the game. At the moment I think I've just got it, I've got it set to free play. 
but I've got I've got it set to card reader disabled as well. So I'll just need to need to reset the game once it loads. As far as the game's concerned, as far as the Naomi's concerned, um, it does have a card reader attached. Um, all of the signals that get, that get sent um, from the Pi up and down the serial link into the Naomi are emulating exactly what you would expect to see from a normal card reader. Uh, this particular version of the code is specific to initial D2 and initial D3, but there are other versions that support um, Wanga Midnight Maximum Tune, I think for the Chihiro, uh, and the, 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 the Mario GP version and a, an F0AX version for the Triforce as well. Yeah, it's just skip straight past the card reader, so I'll just, I'll just need to go back into test mode. Yeah, I was going to have to disable that card reader, so you go down to the game test mode. Game assignments, card reader on, exit, exit. Exit, here we go, right, so, so now what you expect to see is it's gonna look for the card reader, because the script's not running yet, it'll fail. First thing it does is it goes to the check the card reader units. God, it's dusty in here. Here we go, right, so there we go. So we have a card reader error. So we go into here, the interface. Um, let's go back to the main menu. And then we're going to go into initial D card emulator. Now, so what I've done here. Um, I create a little a little folder on the on the Pi to hold the different um, different cards. So you can have you can have multiple cards. So you can be doing multiple curios at a time using different uh, different cards, whatever. Um, you can even create a new card to the interface as well. This is just a straightforward HTML little form in here. You just enter the name of the new card that you want to use, uh, press submit, and it will create you a new card in the, in the system. Um, and also then launch the game with that new card. Uh, I'm going to pick an existing one. If I just click on Master MX5, you see it there, a spinny thing. So I'll put up some text in there. Once the emulator, card emulator is launched, use the link below to return to the main menu. So we go back to main menu, and that is effectively it. So now, as far as the um, as the machine's concerned, because that Python script's running, there is a card reader attached, and it's going to use it's going to it's going to use the card that I've inserted now. Just need to reset the game. So just quickly jump into test mode and jump out of test mode. What we should see now is it actually passed the card read write test. So there you go. So a quick restart and fingers crossed this will work. There you go. Takes a little bit of time. And it should get past this. And there we go, kick back initialize. So it's past the, it's past the card read write test. So the uh, Naomi thinks of the card reader there, which is excellent. And then we're in the game. So now, if I hit start. Do you have a card? It automatically inserts the card for you. And there you go. Uh, that does say Toyota <laughs> GT Apex. I did choose Master MX5, but I've just, been, I've just been messing around with file names and things. So um, it does actually, it, it is actually the right card, honestly. Uh, now what we can try actually is, um, we do now, I'm just thinking about doing the new card. We'd have to actually stop it. So 
what I'll do is shut down and power off the 